Consider the following formula. Which of the following statements is true for this formula? To solve this question, it can be helpful to have the equation written both in terms of A, which is already given to us, and in terms of B, which we'll have to solve for. We'll have to do opposite operations to move our variables around, so we'll add B to both sides first. Then we will subtract A from both sides. That'll give us B is equal to 7 minus A. So we have A is equal to 7 minus B, and B is equal to 7 minus A, and these will help us find our correct answer. A says if A is less than 7, B is positive. So let's plug in negative 7 and see what we get, just to get an idea. This value will give us a B value of minus a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. It'll give us a positive 14. If A is ever less than negative 7, that means we are always going to have a negative number plugged in here, and we will always have that minus a negative turning into a positive. So we'll always be adding two positive numbers together in this situation. So our B value will always be positive, and that makes answer choice A a true statement. At that point, you can mark A and move on with the rest of your test, but for the sake of the video, I'll show you why B, C, and D are incorrect. B says if A is greater than 7, B is positive. Well, let's try B is equal to 7 minus 7. That would give us 0. If A is greater than 7, if we were to plug in 8, for instance, we would get a negative 1. B is the tipping point between positive and negative numbers. So as we get greater than 7, if we're getting negative results for B, we will continue to get negative results for B the further away we get from uh, A being 7. So that means that B will always be negative, not positive, and that makes B incorrect. For answer choice C, if B is greater than negative 7, A is positive. Well, let's plug that in. A is equal to 7 minus 7, which is equal to 0. So if B is greater than, or excuse me, this is negative 7, minus a negative, which would be the same thing as adding a positive, and that would give us 14. If B is greater than negative 7, A is positive. If we're going greater than negative 7, all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. So there's an opportunity for us to have 7 minus a positive 8. That's a greater number than negative 7, but that would give us negative 1 as a result, and A would no longer be positive. Therefore, C is incorrect. D says if B is less than negative 7, A is equal to, again, we have 7 minus negative 7, and that would, again, give us a positive 14, if we are less than that, then A will always be negative. This is not true because of the same reason why A is correct. B is always going to be positive because if we're less than negative 7, we're always going to be plugging in negative numbers for B, and that will always yield a positive result for A because of this minus a negative will always become adding positives together. So D is also incorrect, and that makes A our correct answer.